people and teach them and make them know the people who have put us in this mess. And the people who have put us in this mess, they come from north and south and east and west and Igbo and Hausa and Yoruba and Tiv and Jukun all over. Recently, a, re a list was released of the people who own, who owe the government five point something trillion naira, Amcon. Right? Some of you saw it. Don't they come from north and south and east and west? Five point something trillion. That is the equivalent to one year's budget of Nigeria. And how many of them? About 20 Nigerians. Tomorrow you come and tell me that it is one part of the country that is putting us here. We really need serious social analysis. Why are we where we are? We are all oppressed in this country. Go to Damaturu, go to Zamfara, go to Yobi and see the poverty of the poor. Their big men are oppressing them. And go to Onicha and go to Nobi and see. I mean, I look at the, I look at the slum, urban slum that Onicha is. Urban slum. All those tall, tall buildings, no air. As if no town planning, no water supply, no nothing. Urban slum. But Anambra State has some of the richest Nigerians. I mean, just go. Go to everywhere. Go to Bubura. Go to Edemepat. Go to... And Akwaibom State is the richest state in Nigeria. Akwaibom State is richer than many African state countries put together. But go and see, go and see the destitution of life in many of those places. We need social analysis. We need to keep pointing our, the attention of our people to those who have put us in this mess. And not just look at, I mean, can you imagine anybody, anybody coming from a quiet bomb state, anybody coming from Delta State, to begin to point across the country to the people who are putting them in this mess. I be sure you are from Delta State. The governor of Delta is not Fulani. Yes. Can you imagine that Delta State, Akwai Bomb State, that they can, anybody from there can point at anywhere, at anybody anywhere, putting them in the mess, when we know the kind of resources that those states have generated? We need social analysis. We need to train our people to recognize that we are the 95% of Nigerians are oppressed by less than 5% of the people. We need that. This is the kind of thing Amos was talking about. And in our churches, pastors, priests and preachers and evangelists need to help their people with social analysis to recognize that there is something wrong in the way we carry on. And it is not enough to honor people for bringing big money to church. People's consciences must be challenged. When people come to church in a country like Nigeria, they should go home with their head bowed, thinking about, what can I do? It is not all the time people come to church that they should go home rejoicing. Many times they should go home weeping. With a commitment as to what is going to change in the manner they conduct their lives. Amos says that many people cannot claim to belong to God while living off the misery of the poor. We need the Amos in this country. We need Amos in every part of this country. I mean, we, we are all shouting now, Boko Haram, bandits, Boko Haram in the, in, in the northeast, bandits in northwest, all kinds of things all over the place. But we know. We know what the leaders have done to children in that place. We know how millions of children have been left for generations without school. We know how those places have been robbed. I mean, we, once upon a time, some of the richest human beings in this country were in Borono State. Yes. Once upon a time. We had people in this country, we had people in, that, in Meduguri that built houses with gold. Everything inside was gold. We had people. And neglected the poor. We are harvesting the consequences of what we did. 
And we need this social analysis. This is what is called social analysis. This is our problem today. How did we get here? And not just, don't buy all that nonsense on social media that it is because of the other tribe. It is because of the other religion. Don't buy all that nonsense. And I don't want anybody in Luke's terror to buy all that nonsense. Ask yourself, how well has your local government been run? Ask yourself, how well has your state been run? When your governor carries all your money and takes overseas, then you are suffering the consequences of no resources. Then you are calling another tribe. What kind of idiots are you? We need social analysis. We need to think. Use our heads. 